Hello there. Hey guys, Ryan the Nerd here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Lego, the Lego Imperial Probe Droid. Uh, so yeah, um, got this guy two days ago, and yeah, I I, I think uh, I'm in love with this thing. Um, so basically, this is part of Lego's. Um, you know, new line, well not really new line, Lego has been absolutely killing it with their Lego Star Wars stuff. They've been making the cool helmets, they've been making the cool, uh, like portraits and stuff. Love it. And they also came out with another droid, uh, buildable character, uh, which is the probe droid as you can see. Lego has done buildable characters in the past, like BB-8, the Porg, uh, the R2-D2, which was from... 2012 a long time ago and they also did and they they recently just came out with another r2d2 for some reason haven't taken a look at it haven't seen it uh, and i don't really plan on picking them up but this guy the probe droid is always one of my favorite droids because i watched the empire strikes back a lot when i was younger and the probe droid just seems to be one of my favorite droids ever um so when i heard that lego was making them in uh, making the pro droid into a buildable character uh, I had to get this, and there's a funny story which I'll tell at the end. But as you can see, you know, got the nice artwork here, and then on the back here, you got a nice portrait of the 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 set, and then you also have some measurements, and then you also have some screenshots from the movie. And for some reason, this set is 18 plus, which Lego has never done before. The BB-8 and Porg were about like. I can't remember how, I, I saw the boxes, I'm not gonna go up to my room and just look how old, uh, like, recommended how old, but Lego's never done an 18 plus thing before, so I don't know what that is about. But I'm gonna take a look at the instruction booklet here. So, you know, you've got the probe droid here, because there is some little read-up right here. So, there's a little read-up right here, and I have read, read this, so, nice real, like, behind the scenes of the probe droid there. You can read that there, pause that. Now. That is pretty much it for the box. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at this guy, because I've been excited to do a review on this guy. So let's take a look at him. So here we have the probe droid. Uh, this took me about two hours to build. Um, I did have to deconstruct the head a little bit, but that's fine. Let's take a look at the base first. So as you can see, with the buildable characters line, they always come with a plaque with some, you know, facts and all that. Um, it's just a sticker, by the way. And as you can see, the base is supposed to be like Hoth, which is awesome. And then you also have like snow draping over, which is a really nice touch. Uh, but for some reason, Lego didn't include a minifigure of a probe droid, which uh, they all did. They all came with minifigures of themselves, like BB-8 came with a minifigure of himself, you know, so on and so forth. But I don't know why Lego didn't include a probe droid. Uh, I don't know why. But over here, you do have the, the rod. Uh, translucent pieces that stick up into the body so don't have to worry about that but if you can see it's wobbly and that's because inside this pile of snow where the stand sticks out uh, it's just a smooth tile piece inside uh, but good thing Lego made it high enough so if it wasn't high enough it would be tipping over um, every time but I'm probably gonna have to deconstruct this and you know actually you know Probably stick a brick in there so we can lock into place. But let's take a look at the head. Very love, I love the head, uh, the way Lego made the head. Um, very awesome. You do have all like the different eyes. Very accurate to the film. They captured it perfectly. Um, spin around, you all got like the different like eyes and stuff like that. And the set does come with stickers. Um, the antenna don't actually go down. But I do like how one is taller than the other, just like in the film. Um, so yeah, and I like how Lego captured the roundness of the actual body. Um, and as you can see, there is, um, there is some, like, I guess, grooves in there, like, uh, but it doesn't really bother me. But the arms here, I do like how Lego also captured the dis the disproportionate legs, at uh, arms. Um, so, like, one, like, that, like, they're lanky, but they're disproportionate, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. Let's, sit, let's take a look at their articulation. So this one can rotate, bend here, bend here, bend here, and the base of the claw can, you know, actually move, and the claws can open. This one just has a swivel, and this one's the most fragile one, so be careful with this. 
so the base of the claw can open and it can swivel. The drill uh, swivel here, bend over here, uh, this one can bend, bend here, and then the drill itself can actually rotate. This one over here, got a, this one is just like, uh, these three here, they're the, uh, like the most skinniest ones, so be careful. Um, so just a swivel back and forth, rotation at the base of the claw, and the claw, uh, can move up and down. The claws themselves can open and close. Um, this one over here can rotate, um, can turn as well, uh, swivel, uh, here, and then the base of the claw can move up and down and they can grab. This one's the coolest in my opinion. Got a swivel here, bend here, and when you bend the elbow, this rod that sticks into here actually comes out so it's like a hydraulic system, which is awesome. Oh, I just popped it off. Uh, so, awesome how Lego did that. Uh, move up and down at the base of the claw, claw can open. And speaking of like mechanical stuff, uh, I do like how Lego made like mechanical detail in there. So you can like see like where the joints move and all that. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. It's a very short one, but I do like I I do like how this guy turned out. I think he's one of my favorite Lego sets ever, besides the Saturn V. I think that this might be my new favorite one. I highly recommend this guy. He was about like he was about eighty dollars uh, at Mastermind Toys. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um. That's pretty much it for this this review, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is. So, bye, guys.